Hey, just finished uh, week four of our Want More series, and we've been talking about the Holy Spirit. Last couple of weeks, we talked about the person of the Holy Spirit, who He is, the presence of God in our lives, and how God wants to have a relationship with us, and, and how we're, just, we're not ex- instinctual creatures anymore that just give in to the impulses, but we're sons and daughters of God. And then last week, we talked about how to listen to the Holy Spirit and uh, how to hear His voice. And um, uh, if you if you weren't able to catch any of those messages, you can catch them online. But today we talk, we're talking about change, talking about the struggle. And out of Galatians chapter 5, and uh, starting in verse 16, but we, uh, we just talked about how change is something that we don't like. You know, we, we enjoy progress. We love progress, but not change. I know some people say, oh, no, I love change. But really, they, they, want, they like to be the implementers of change. But when it comes to actually us changing, and things in our life changing, uh, we don't go for that too much. You know, Mark Twain said it. Uh, no one, uh, the only one who likes it, likes change is a wet baby, and I, I think he's he's right. And so, a lot of people avoid church because of this whole idea of change. That you know, to be a Christian means that I've got to change a lot, and uh, change is really difficult. It's hard. It's it's a lot of work, and it takes a lot of drive. And and to be honest with you, I don't have that energy and that drive. But something that I've learned is I can't change, but God can transform me. And so we talked about transformation. We talked about what that means. And the the Greek word is metamorpho and and how it's the same. We see the picture of that, a perfect picture in how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly and the process that takes place. And the cool thing is that in that caterpillar, from the time it's born, it has the DNA to become a butterfly. You and I have in us, because of our relationship with God, uh, we have the DNA to be sons and daughters of God, to be transformed. And, you know, I know that our goal is not to, to, uh, to just um, impersonate the image of Christ. And sometimes that's what we do. And if we're the one doing the changing, if we're, we're changing things, we're going to focus on the things that, that others see. And so it's all about the outward appearance but we're not, our goal is not to impersonate Christ. Our goal is to reflect his image. And that takes a change inside that only God, only the Holy Spirit can do. And, and he's the one that transforms us. And then, you know, we, we just, we went through and talked about how um, that's God's desire and his goal in our life. And how the Holy Spirit is, is the key to that. You know, what he's doing in us. Um, We talked about that struggle that is real and the tug of war that goes on and the struggle between the flesh and the spirit. And it's a very real struggle. And I've learned that I can't I can't change, but God can transform me. And I can stop giving into those impulses. I can stop uh, giving into the flesh. And and um, I got a few questions for you as you as you um, uh, there in life point. Um, this discussion about the Holy Spirit has been so important because uh, as we talk about the Holy Spirit next week, we're going to talk about the power of the Holy Spirit. And, and sometimes we want to focus, depending on your, your experience, we want to focus on the power of the Holy Spirit or the gifts of the Holy Spirit, but we ignore the person of the Holy Spirit. And a lot of people do. And so there's a, it's very important that we don't ignore the person of the Holy Spirit in our in our. Uh, desire for the power of the Holy Spirit. And we'll talk more about that next week. But God is doing something in us. He's changing us from the inside out. Um, Here are a few questions. What are some things that you have changed about yourself? But if you're honest, it was only skin deep. Now that's a tough question. And it it requires a lot of transparency and honesty. But, but, uh, what are some things you've changed about yourself, but if you're honest, it was only skin deep? So you can pause the video for a second. So, okay, number two, I talked about how the Holy Spirit is the key to real change or transformation in our lives, but take a few minutes and share your story of how and when you began your relationship with God. I love to hear people's story. And uh, take a few moments and share your story of how you began to follow Christ and your relationship with Him. All right, number three. I talked about how the struggle is real, and it's ne- but it's a, it's a necessary struggle. 
for the transformation in our lives. What are some struggles you've had? Again, that requires some transparency and honesty, but what are some struggles that you've had that you'd be willing to share? Because I believe there's strength that we gain from one another. All right, and then lastly, there's a lot of questions. Maybe you didn't even get to this question, but what fruit can you see in your life today that was a result of the Holy Spirit transforming you? What fruit can you see in your life today that was a result of the Holy Spirit transforming you? And one other tag-on question to that is, what do you think still needs to grow in you? God bless you. Have a great week.